Oblivion at the gateway to the straits. The darkness is gone, it's been a long wait. She sits on a high bluff, her lamp shining bright through the Mackinac Straits, the Magulpin Point Light. In 1869, Kicker Tongue lit the light for the very first time at Magalpin's Point. From the bluff on the point, the ship saw her beam as they came into the straits by sail and by steam. Capped Allen Port was Kicker for 27 years. His nine children help with chores each day with good cheer. When the burning wall away the reach just below the light, the kids out save the seventeen crewmen all that night. Looking out toward Lake Michigan at the gateway to the straits, the darkness is gone, it's been a long way. She sits on a high bluff, her lamp shining bright through the Mackinac Strait, the McGulpin Point Light. For thirty-seven years, the keeper walked up the winding stairs to the lantern room to care for the light. Behind a three and a half order lens, a kerosene lamp. Gave out a three second flash of white. Then Mackinac Point took over, McGulpin Point went dark. He returned to private hands after serving as a park. Then the Buck County finally bought her, and the lighthouse folks took over. And McGulpin Point light is shining once more. At the dangerous western opening to the Straits of Mackinac, where schooners in spring were often stuck in ice waiting for the thaw. A hundred feet above the Straits, her tower can be seen, and lake boats once again can see her life saving beam. Looking out toward Lake Michigan at the gateway to the Straits, the darkness is gone, it's been a long wait. She sits on a high bluff, her lamp shining bright. Through the Mackinac Straits, the McGulpin Point Light. Very good. Good Very job. Nice. Thank you. I like that. Yeah.